Hi everyone, my name is Crystal Joyner. I am a registered dietitian with The Giant Company, and today we are going to be making a fun Halloween grazing board. So we've got a few parts. If you've checked out the recipe link, um, either during class or ahead of time, we have a few things to put together. So I'll kind of go over what we're gonna, you know what, I'm gonna share my screen so I can show you and makes it a little bit easier. Okay, can everyone see my screen? I think so. Okay, so one of our first recipes is going to be our skull cheese ball. So as you can see, it looks fun and festive. Um, we've got cream cheese, um, some garlic powder, some sharp cheddar, and let's see, um, I don't have any green onions, but we've got some hot sauce. Um, and then we've got the toppings to make the face. So with this, um, what we're going to do is just going to be simple. We're going to put all of our ingredients in a bowl, mix them together, uh, minus the toppings, and we're going to shape it into a skull. So we'll be doing that. And let me go to the others. I can put it there. Okay. Our other recipes are. So we're gonna have these cute little clementine pumpkins. So we've got clementines and I'm gonna use some celery to make those cute little stems. And then this is one of my favorites because I love Reese's. Okay, we've got the mini, mini Reese's and I got some pretzels. So we're gonna make some pretzel brooms with our Reese's. So sweet and salty there. And then this one is fun. I'm a little nervous because I, I haven't covered too many things in chocolate, but we're going to give it a go. Um, and so for that, we've got some Oreos, or you could use our Nature's Promise um, Oreos, basically. And we have got some Bugles. So we're going to cover that in chocolate, and we'll have little witch hats. Okay, and we're going to, of course, we're going to add in some vegetables. I've got the celery the bell peppers and crackers to finish off our board. So we will go ahead and get started. Nature's Promise brand. Okay. Do y'all have any thoughts of where you want to start? We can start with, um, of course, we can start with the skull, but I wanted to ask y'all and see what you, what you thought. Okay. Cheese skull. Okay. All right. Well, let me get my camera facing down. All right. So our cheese skull. So like I said, I've got two, um, well, I didn't say, but I'm saying now, two eight ounce uh, packages of cream cheese. So we'll put these into our bowl. We'll add in all the in other ingredients. I also got some gloves here to do the mixing. Yeah, maybe the chocolate next. Okay. So we'll put our green cheese in here. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I I went to a new place and got my nails done, so I need to get them done again, but they lasted me a really long time, which is very surprising, and I like it. Okay, just trying to get the rest of this out. I'm going to open the next one all the way so I don't squeeze it. Okay. So we'll do the same thing with our next cream cheese. Try to get it all out in one swoop. We'll see. And if you want to go 
So you can always do like a low fat cream cheese um, if you are looking for a lower fat option. Get this. All right. Let's see how we do it this time. Get most all of it. Nope. Hopefully the chocolate is easier to manipulate than this. Okay, so we've got our cream cheese into our bowl. Now, what we're gonna do is add in um, our garlic powder. I'm just gonna do a few little shakes. And we have our cheddar cheese. So on the recipe, there isn't um, real ingredient numbers for the others. So I'm just going to put in what the amount of cheese I think looks good. It'd be skewed because I love cheese. Okay, so we've got our sharp cheddar. And I'm going to add a little bit of Tabasco. If you want to skip this step, you can. Just depends on how much spice you may or may not like. Okay, so we've got our cream cheese, our cheddar cheese, our garlic, and our Tabasco. If you wanted to add the green onions, you could add the green onions. And we're just going to mix to combine before we shape. So I did uh, take this out a little bit before um, class started because I thought that it would be easier to shape. I'm still, the jury is still out on that. <laughs> I think it is a little bit easier, but we'll see. Yeah. It's someone said it's easier when it's room temperature. That's what I was thinking. I took it out a while ago, but yeah. Okay. So we're mixing. And I think that when I put my gloves on, it'll make it a little bit easier to shape. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this aside for a second and we're gonna start with something easier. So maybe these, this will sit and combine a little bit and then um, we'll come back at the end and shape it. But, okay, so next up, our chocolate. So let's see how our chocolate looks. Okay, so I got just little chocolate um, wafers and I'm putting them on the defrost setting in the microwave. kind of watching and seeing how how long it takes because I'm not exactly sure. Um, but while that is melting, like I said, we'll be doing this with Oreos, microwave to cream cheese. No worries. So the Oreos we're going to make with Pat. So we are, I got some uh, of our like pop-up parchment paper. I'm going to put it down and we are going to dip our Oreos in the chocolate and our bugles as our hat. Quite melted yet. We're going to let that out. For a couple more seconds, but we'll be making chocolate covered witch hats. So we'll use an Oreo and the bugle for a hat. Giant does have bugles. That's where I got them. <laughs> I wanted to get our Nature's Promise um, Oreo style cookies, but I didn't find them at my store. Chocolate wafers, 
Yes, yes, I got the chocolate wafers from there. There's a bunch, we have a bunch of different options for melting chocolate, but I just got the Ghirardelli milk chocolate melting wafers. Yum, yes, my favorite. I think dark chocolate would be good too. Um, but I got the milk chocolate today. No sushi. Yeah, I had a lot on the counter today, so I decided to put the the sushi chef kitties in the bedroom because <laughs> I figured that we had too much going on. Okay. Hopefully this chocolate is melting. I see a hand raised. Do we have a question? Okay, I think we are melted finally. No. Okay. Let's let's see. Guys, I think I burnt the chocolate. Let's, let's, we'll try it. They're resting. Yeah. They're uh, in between their breakfast, their snack, and their lunch. <laughs> okay, guys, we're having a, we're having a fail for the moment. So let's, we're going to start over with our chocolate because I don't know about that. The chocolate will be fine. I'm trying. It is, uh, hold on. Maybe if I just put it on it, it will solidify. All right. See, this is why this is fun. We learn together because my chocolate is not doing so well. So I put it in the microwave on defrost. <laughs> it's perfect. Okay. All right. Well, then I'll just trust you. I'll take your word for it. I was expecting it to be like um, liquidy, you know, so I could just dip it. This is not what's turning out to be. So. Yeah, I wish I had a double broiler, but I just I don't. So that would make it easier. OK. Let's see. All right. Yeah, we're gonna have to redo that one. That didn't work out. We've got, we've got a start of one. <laughs> okay. Someone said it should be liquidy. You have to melt at 30 second intervals, stirring in between. Okay. We're gonna do that again. I'm gonna do that again. You're not. <laughs> oh, okay. Let me get another bowl. Oh, right here. I already got one because I knew it was gonna mess up. Fear not. Yes, just just 255 people watching me not be able to melt chocolate. It's fine. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take y'all's word for it. I'm gonna put some wafers in here. Okay, I'm gonna do about that much. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not going to do defrost this time. Do I have a melting setting? No. No, yes, I do. I do. Okay, let's see. Wow. It's magic. Soften melt. Okay. Okay, we have it for, this is a minute and 10 seconds. So we'll just we'll check on it and see. Someone said no. Wait. Okay. <laughs> then do a taste test before I put it in the microwave. Okay, let's see. All right, we're melting. Okay, I'm gonna stir, like y'all said. I feel right now like, where is Shayna when you need her?
Yes, this is teamwork. Thank you guys. Okay, I'm gonna check it again. Okay, it's looking a lot better. Let's go. Oh, it's looking really good. I'm actually I'm not excited. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna put it back in. It's looking perfect. Yay. We got it figured out. I'm going to start with a fresh piece of uh, parchment paper. I think anyone who's ever done it has burned it once or twice. Yes. <laughs> Let's just hope it's once. Oh, guys, it's perfect. It is perfect. Okay, we're back on track. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take it, we're gonna do this before it hardens. We're gonna take our Oreo and put it, dip it into our chocolate. Okay. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> Once we do that, we're gonna take our Oreo out. We're gonna take our bugle, dip it in the chocolate. I'm just kind of using a spoon to just kind of shovel it over the top. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, so much better. So much better. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try to turn it around here. You can see our little, our first little witch hat. Okay. That is so much better. <laughs> you can see that. See my chocolate covered hands over here too. Okay, so. And with these, obviously they've got to harden. So I would imagine either leaving them out on the counter or putting them in the refrigerator would probably be the way to go. Okay, so we've got our chocolate covered bugle and Oreo witch hats. Oh, that's cute. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more. So much better. They are fun. they are fun now that I figured out the chocolate. Okay, perfect. So what what worked? I put it on these the uh, melt soften setting, which you know newsflash that's that's a great idea, right? Um, and it was about a minute and a half, but I stirred every like thirty seconds. Okay, we've got our witch hats. Perfect. All right, I'm going to scoot these over. You know what? I'm going to go for like the easiest thing here. And I'm going to go for my favorite, the Reese's. <laughs> Much easier, right? I'm going to take a Reese's, take it out of the wrapper. So we just have the little Reese's. And I have some um, pretzels, pretzel sticks. So, okay, a pretzel stick. I think it's one of those days where everything wants to be hard. <laughs> okay, so we got a pretzel stick. I hope I don't break this, but I'm just going to Put it. Oh man, look at that. Our broomsticks. Fantastic. And the cats would have gotten very involved. Yes. We would have chocolate everywhere. So, okay. It's going good now. We've got our another Reese's here. Honestly. If these were on a tray, this would probably be like my go-to and they would be gone. It has been impossible not to eat all of these while I'm waiting for this class this week. <laughs> so, okay, we've got another little broomstick. 
seemed, oh, you know what? That's, that's a good point. You know what? You are completely right. All right. Broomstick. So the rhesus goes upside down. Our Hershey friend will be very proud. Oh, I won't forget the skull. I know. We're getting there. Okay. So as someone stated, the rhesus should go down. Makes sense. Okay, looks more like a broom. There you go. So we've got our broomsticks. Make one more just to have them the correct way. Oh no. Got a little bit of a messed up broom on this one. Okay. All right. So our broomsticks, so perfect. Okay, I'm gonna scoot this over. And now we are going to go back to our cheese skull and pray that I can shape a skull. <laughs> okay, so I've got gloves for this. Yes, I'll have to eat the messed up one. Of course. Okay, so our skull. I'm, I'm going to get another piece of parchment paper to put down so I can make this. Oh, oh my gosh, I ran out, guys. These are the best things if you have not used them, but now I'm out, so I'm going to get some more. Okay. All right, we're going to do it on our cutting board here. Okay. We're bringing this back. I can do it. All right. So we're shaping our skull. So we've got like a round head. And then we will need to make kind of like a jawline. We'll save that little piece for our jaw. Use aluminum foil. Oh, well, I guess I should just ask y'all what y'all think I should do before I do it so that I don't miss out on the awesome tips. Okay. Kind of looking like a very oval face. Okay. Maybe make it more round. I'm looking at the uh, picture of the skull that they have for reference. Yes. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to try to, I feel like a, a sculptor right now. Okay. I'm going to try to make the jaw. So I'm going to push it in. Okay. It's not bad, actually. That's really not bad. <laughs> I'm surprising myself. Okay. Maybe when I get the rest of the face on, I think. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All right. So, as far as shape, I think that is pretty good. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the rest of the pieces on. So, we, what we have for um, the mouth, we have just little um, slivered almonds. So, we're going to put them on for, like, teeth. And great shaping, thank you. I don't know about his teeth though. Oh, 
Okay, got our teeth on. For our eyes, I know it shows green olives, but I'm gonna use um, two dried cranberries. Let's find some good eye shapes here. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right. So we've got our eyes. And last, we're going to put on our nose. It's probably hard for y'all to see. It's on our nose, and I've just got some Kalamata olives. Um, you can use black if you wanted to, but I'm going to cut it, cut one in half. Okay. I'm just going to cut one in half and do it like that. Let's see. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, I feel like theirs is much prettier than mine, but we've got our, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, theirs is definitely much prettier than mine. Here, let me try to fix this. <laughs> we've got our, our skull, okay. And what we'll be doing now is kind of assembling our gray. Thank you. So um, I was going to use either a rectangular cutting board or a circle cutting board. Um, I think right now I'm going to build it on our, nah, I'll just do it. We'll just do it. Okay. I'm going to take this cutting board. I'm going to get um, a spatula. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to chill it. Perfect. Keep it molded. So we're gonna keep that molded. And now we'll just kind of assemble our board because we're gonna put that back in the center. So what we can do is kind of add in our broomsticks. We can add in, um, we're gonna have some crackers. Yeah, so I put the, uh, the skull in the refrigerator to chill. I know we're kind of, we're going to be a little over on class. If you have to leave, I understand. Um, if you can stick around or watch the recording. Okay, so we've got, got those. One, yep, that's what I was just about to go to. So now we have our clementines. So we'll just peel these. For our pumpkins. All right. Yeah, I would definitely say this is, uh, I mean, it's something you can definitely do by yourself, but I think it would be fun to get your kids or your husband or your pets involved. <laughs> Maybe not your pets, but have someone to do this with you because it's a lot of fun and it looks super cute. There's a lot of moving parts. Okay. So for our pumpkins, we're gonna take a little um, topping from our celery, add it just in the center. Let's see if I can get it to stand up. So. We've got our little pumpkin. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, oh, we got our pumpkins. <laughs> A great snack for kids, definitely. So we've got our two pumpkins on there. We're gonna add um, some celery just for kind of munching. So I'm just gonna cut that on this. Add in celery. We're going to add in some pepper um, strips. Oh, 
sorry, um, that are here. We'll get on our carrots. Where should our witch hats go? Let's put our witch hats. Let's see if we can. So they have dried. We've got our little witch hats. And put these around. Then our skull will go in the middle. And then we'll use um, some pepper stripes or strips. You see? I think I'll start with let's go with the red one. And if you wanted to, um, you can get some like fun cookie cutters. So I have um, I have a pumpkin, a ghost. Um, a couple others over here. I didn't really know what I would use them for for this, but you could add plenty of other things with cookie cutters, and they might make the process a little bit easier. So we've got our peppers. So just a good, fun um, board that will give you the fruits, veggies, and um, protein. A little bit of sweets, of course. Okay. And we have, so we would add different, more peppers. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna bring out our skull. Okay. So our skull is gonna go right in the middle. Can use a spatula to help me get this. Slide it right on. Oh Lord. Okay. Okay. We are getting somewhere. Okay. So we've got our skull on there. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so it's not complete yet, but we have got our board. We made it. We did it, and I'm excited to try it. Definitely, um, maybe not beginner level, <laughs> but thank you. Um, I hope you enjoyed this class, and I'll be sending out all of the recipes and if you have any questions, let me know, but I'm sure you all have some more answers than I do. <laughs> but yeah, so happy Halloween. I hope you enjoy time with your family, friends. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all have a great day. Um, I'm, uh, there, there's no class on Halloween, um, but other than that, that's all I know as far as we're not having class. But every other day, happy Halloween. Thank you. Now I got a scary kitchen to clean up. <laughs> Bye, guys.